What's up guys? Welcome back to Rich Avengers. Today I'm going to be finishing up the center console. Uh, I've got it all put together and we're going to be throwing some paint down on it. Let's get into it. Okay, so got the center console put together. Uh, let me show it to you here. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. As you can see, I threw down some black paint on it. I'm going to be using Duplicolor's uh, armor paint, which is a bed liner, basically. Uh, and on my test piece, it just soaked into the wood real bad, so it didn't give it that texture. It just soaked right in. So what it is, I laid down just some regular, uh, just regular spray paint, just to get it something to already soak into the wood and to kind of seal it a little bit. Uh, to help it, hopefully the armor will stick to that. I'll scuff up the the paint here, so you can see I've got a hole cut out for the shifter, and then the holes cut out for the cup holders. Um, basically, I'm just going to run over this with just uh, so just going to scuff it up with a scuff, with a scuff pad, um, and then we'll uh, we'll get to painting. So on the, on the top piece and the flat piece, I actually laid down some what's called dolphin glaze. It's a type of body filler, just a real smooth body filler, to just smooth out the top surface um, and also help uh, keep that bed liner from soaking into the wood anymore. Um, so hopefully, at least, if nothing else, this top part here, which is what you'll see the most of, uh, will have a pretty consistent finish. Whereas the sides are not going to see real well, so it's like, if they don't turn out perfect, they'll be okay. Okay, that's the first coat down. Uh, we'll just let it sit for a little bit, uh, about mm, 10 minutes. We'll probably try to put down at least three coats. The good thing about uh, having laid down the black beforehand uh, is that if I do miss a spot, it'll at least be black. Um, but, uh, you know, for the most part, you should be able to get pretty good coverage. I'll let this sit for a little while and then uh, come back and do another coat, maybe uh, 10 to 20 minutes. Coat number two. Okay, so as we wait for the uh, center console to dry, we'll work on the armrest. So I have the piece of wood for the armrest. Uh, I got some squishy foam stuff. And then got a t-shirt. I'm gonna wrap it in a t-shirt. One, because I was too cheap to buy actual material for it, and two, because it's Spider-Man, right? That's what's up. And it's red, and so it looks about the same color as the seats, and I think that it'll, uh, it'll actually match, you know, so console's black, this will be red. I think it'll look kind of cool. So, let's get into it here. We're going to open up our foam padding stuff. So it's actually four pieces of what looks like about one inch thick foam padding. Um, uh, we'll probably use more than one, or depending on the size, I'll cut this one in half. So it'll go down on top, and you can actually see they're pretty much, I don't know if you can see, <laughs> they're pretty much the exact same width, which kind of sucks. I guess it's supposed to overlap a little bit. Um, 
but I can't make that happen on the sides, so it'll just happen on the front and back. So let's, uh, let's take a measurement here. Let's just assume I want to overlap some there. Like this piece will be too small, so we will just set him off to the side and cut out another new one. Probably just gonna use two, I assume. That'll probably be enough to be cushiony. I don't know. And one's not quite enough. Two. Oh, let's see what three's like. Three's awfully cushy. Maybe we'll do three. I think two will be enough. Let's get a second measurement here. I do want three. I'm never going to make up my mind on this. Yeah, let's do three. These two be the exact the right size. Wonder, I guess I could use that as the bottom one. Enough. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we will glue down. We're just going to use some spray on adhesive to uh, glue this onto this. Just enough to get it to stick for a sec. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry for a little bit, and then we'll come back and we'll probably, I assume we're going to glue all three of them on. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, now that this guy's fairly stuck, I mean it's not completely dried or anything, but it's, it's at least stuck to it. We'll go ahead and glue the other two on, we'll just lay down some glue, stick it on, 
lay down some glue, stick it to the next one on. We'll just let them dry up for a little bit. You're supposed to kind of wait for the glue to set up a little bit, but because I'm pretty sure I might have to move these just to get the get them set on there correctly, I wanted to do it while it was still somewhat wet so that I could peel it up easier. And then I'll we'll kind of get them where I want them, push it down. Okay, so with that, those glued down, we will uh, let them sit so they can dry up a little bit before we handle it too much. Okay, coat number three. Just making sure it's maintaining, uh, it's, it's even. It's, it's stuff sprays like crap, and uh, it's really hard to make sure that it's going on even, uh, and then it's actually covering like I want it to, and texturing the way I want it to. I think it's going to. It's just, I'm just trying to make sure I've got it all nice and even. Um, I, uh, I do think I'm going to do one more coat after this, so that'll be four coats in total. Um, I'll do more if I have to, but I don't think I'll need to. I think four coats will be enough to make sure it's all covered and give me the texture I'm looking for. Okay, so we seem to be tacked up here pretty good. Grab my shirt. I don't know if I'm going to need to cut it or not. I kind of want to keep it like this. I can. Otherwise, Cut it open and make it make it look good. Side, so um, you know, I kind of folded it over so the back side had the fold in it, so the side would be smooth. Top looks okay. I gotta tell you honestly, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna like this a lot in the truck. It's pretty comfortable. All right, on to the front, and how I'm gonna make this look good, I have no idea. I guess the same thing. I'll just put the fold on the side. Not so bad. It's not got perfect shape. Some areas are stretched a little tighter than others, but for the most part, I think it'll work. I'll uh, let me go ahead and run some more staples across it just to keep everything in place. Okay. Now we're all stapled up. Oh yeah, that's cushy. Now that he's all stapled up, I am going to cut off my extra here.
and there we have it. In case you guys haven't noticed, it's a Spider-Man shirt, and uh, you know the truck's name's Peter. Isn't Peter Parker a Spider-Man? Mm. Okay, so I think that's all I had to do today. Um, Actually, I'm not going to be able to put the center console in the truck yet because, well, it's cold as hell outside. It's April whatever, April something, and it is freezing outside. Uh, there's snow on the ground even. Why? So, anyway, I'm going to be... Oh, i got to wait for the paint to dry on the center console, so I'm going to put this on, put my cup holders in, put the... Uh, shifter in and start working on the shifter gate. So I think we'll call this for today and we will finish up probably next week getting the center console together. Oh no 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 not next week. Next week uh, we have the transmission going in as in next Friday and Saturday. Uh, we'll be working on getting the transmission in. Truck still won't move because I gotta get drive shaft work done but the transmission will go in. Aaron will be here to help me with that. We'll probably get a sneak peek of his truck. Uh, if not, get some actual work done on his truck. We'll see. Uh, anyway, so stay tuned for that. I'll be working on that next week, so you'll like, next weekend, so you'll likely see that the week after. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's gonna be awesome. So anyway, uh, thanks for hanging in there, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.